Now let's use partial fractions to do some integrals. Here are some general guidelines I want you to read through, but let me step through exactly how to do them. Suppose I have um, the integral of 5x squared plus 20x plus 6 divided by x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. Your first step is make sure you expand the numerator, and this one's already expanded. And then factor your denominator. So I'm going to rewrite x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. Obviously, I can get an x out of each term. x squared plus 2x plus 1, and of course, this factors into x times x plus 1 quantity squared. So I've expanded, not factored. And now rewrite the entire equation. 5x squared plus 20x plus 6 divided by, and use this factored form, x times x plus 1 squared. Now, this has to equal a over the first term, which is x, plus, now there are two of these, so you have to remember this is b divided by x plus 1 plus c divided by x plus 1 squared. This is a repeated factor, so you have to have two different terms, one uh, with squared and one with x plus 1 to the first power. Now, now we need to get a common denominator on my left side. So what is the common denominator? Well, of course, it's going to be x times x plus 1 squared. That's the common denominator. Now, what do I have to multiply x by to get x plus 1 squared, so of course that's going to be a times x plus 1 squared plus b times, now what do I have to multiply x plus 1 by to get x times x plus 1 squared, so this is going to be x times x plus 1 plus c, now what do I have to multiply x squared plus 1 by to get x times x plus 1 squared, and of course that's just times x, and that's kind of hard to see there. So now my denominators are the same. I'm not going to rewrite all this. So I can equate the numerators. So the next step is equate the numerators. All right, we're here. I got a common denominator. All right, so when I equate the numerators, I have 5x squared plus 20x plus 6 is equal to, um, well, let me go on and multiply this out. This is going to be ax squared plus 2ax plus a plus bx squared plus bx plus cx. Now, the next step is to look at your terms. So now we're going to um, basically set up a system of equations where I'm going to equate the powers. So for the x squared terms, what do I need? You see I'm just putting colon here. I have to have 5 on the left side has to equal a plus b. Now let's look at our x terms. And folks, this really is how I do it. I really do circle them like this. So x to the first terms, 20, has to equal 2a plus b plus c. And then for my constant terms, do I, is that the only constant term I have? Cool. All right, for x to the zero terms, I have 6 has to equal a. Well, that's convenient. So I have a is 6. So I'm going to come back up here. And if a is 6, then 5 is 6 plus b. So b is negative 1. And of course, come down here to this last one where I have c. So I have 20 is equal to 2 times 6 plus minus 1 plus c. So this is 12. 11, 
c is equal to 9. All right. So now I'm going to take my a, b, and c values and plug them back up into um, my original equation up here. Doesn't want to extend here. All right. So now plug a, b, and c into um, the um, uh, uh, partial fractions. So, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to rewrite this. So this is the integral of 5x squared plus 20x plus 6 dx. And I'm, I'm rewriting this because I'm out, I'm out of room and you can't see it up there. x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. And this is going to be equal to the integral of a and a with 6 over x plus b and b is negative 1 over x plus 1 plus c which is 9 divided by x plus 1 squared dx. Now on your paper you can rewrite this separately and now it's just simply a matter of coming through and doing the integration. So let me change back to blue here. Now just integrate. So this is equal to 6 times 6 times the natural log of x minus the natural log of x plus 1 minus 9 divided by x plus 1 plus c. And yeah, you can combine your log terms. This is fine. So this would be the natural log of x to the 6th divided by x plus 1. And I do need absolute values minus 9 divided by x plus 1 plus c, and we're done.